Hi, science learners. Welcome. Today we are going to uh, complete our do plants need soil to grow our experiment. For me, it was on page eight. Uh, and if you will recall, we took bags uh, and you know, used wet paper towels to stimu uh, simulate the soil and planted our seeds uh, on wet paper towels to see if they needed soil to grow. Uh, and so if you've been hanging in the windowsill, uh, it's been 10 days now. Uh, and so we need to, to look at those over and we need to make our class claim and our class evidence and do our wonders questions. And then we need to watch the other experiments we set up uh, to make sure that they are close to being finished or not and, and do a little maintenance there. So if you're joining me today, today you're going to need your journal. You're going to need to flip to the Do Plants Need Soil to Grow page that you created for me. Uh, and hopefully on day one, you drew, like Miss Hudson did, my two seeds sitting on my wet paper towel because today we're going to tackle that day 10 bag. Woo. So let's take a look at our experiment. Uh, and so I went ahead and pulled mine out of the windowsill. Oh my goodness gracious. Take a look at this. Yeah. And in fact, I can lift the whole thing out of the bag and look, look at that. Uh, I even have a seed coat where it came off. Oh, neat. Oh, look at that where the seed coat came off. You see these lovely plants. Uh, have definitely grown, haven't they, since the seed? And they put on green leaves. And look, oh, here is the cotyledon. Uh, here is the cotyledon part of the seed that we talked about. It's still on. Uh, and they have turned green. When plants turn green, uh, that means they are using sunlight to make their own food in a process called photosynthesis. Uh, and oh, here's one that's still got the seed coat on, the cotyledon, uh, but it's grown, uh, still grown up. So, wow. Oh my gosh, look at that. So, I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to document what I see. I'm going to start by drawing my paper towel, which was still in there, and my seed. Uh, which have grown and grown and grown. And now they've got leaves uh, on and they've grown to the top of the bag. I hopefully if you did this with me, uh, then you are seeing some growth in yours, right? But if you didn't, you need to take a minute and draw what you saw here uh, on the video. I'm going to color the parts that turn green. Uh, I'm going to color those green. Uh, for my photosynthesis. And then down here at the bottom, let me show you. Look at those roots. Look at the roots that are coming off. They're growing on that paper towel. Do you see it? So I'm going to make sure I add my roots growing. And my roots are kind of yellowy uh, colored because usually they do not see the sunlight, right? And so my roots are coming off the seed and then it's grown. Uh, from, and you really don't need to draw all of them. Uh, if, as long as you draw one as our documentation, our difference between day one and day 10, uh, then you should be K, okay. but I'm going to go ahead and put in another one. Uh, and so right now I need you to pause the video uh, and draw in your day 10 documentation of change. Okay your day 10 documentation. So it should look, if you didn't do it with us and you need to see it, it should look similar to this. So go ahead and pause the video and draw that in. All right, welcome back. If you're back with me, we're going to go ahead and fill out now this class claim and this class evidence spot. And I went ahead and wrote it on another sheet of paper so I could show you a little bit better in that space. But I need you to write it in your journal, okay? Because uh, part of what I grade uh, is your work in your journal. That's our documentation as scientists. Our journal travels with us no matter what we go. So when you guys that are coming back to me, uh, starting on the 16th of October, you've got to bring your journal with you because it will be a grade, okay? And so that's my proof that while you're at home, you're following along. All right, so what do we think happened? I think that, what do you think happened? Do plants need soil to grow? I think that plants don't need soil to grow. They certainly grew just fine without it. 
don't need soil to grow. But Miss Hudson, don't all the nutrients that plants need come from the soil? Obviously not. So where are they getting those nutrients from? You've been following along with me and talking about the dissection of that seed. You remember what I said about the cotyledon? The cotyledon is the food source, the nutrient source for the plant. There's a good one right here. See it? The nutrient source for the plant as it grows. That's right. It comes already with everything it needs. Imagine you guys being born with a year's worth of groceries already with you. Can you imagine? Seeds do that every day. So do plants need soil to grow? I don't think that plants need soil to grow. So let's write that in as our class claim. I think that plants don't need soil to grow. I'm going to underline the don't. Don't need soil to grow. What's my evidence that proves that plants don't need soil to grow? Well, absolutely true. Our experiment is our proof. But what happened? I got to be specific. I can't say I did an experiment. You do lots of experiments. What in this experiment proves that plants don't need soil to grow? You can say my seeds grew without soil on a wet paper towel. My seeds grew without soil on a wet paper towel. If I were you, I would pause the video right here and copy this down, class claim and class evidence. All right, now we have to add our wonders. So you should have these two sections filled out for me right here. And so I've got space down at the bottom for you to do your wonders. So I wonder, would the plants keep growing in the paper towel? That could be my one wonder, and you can, you're welcome to take that one uh, as one of your wonders too. But the other one has got to be from your brain. All right, so you need two wonders there at the bottom. And my first one is Would the plants keep growing in the paper towel? So if I left it in the window, would they keep on growing and be okay? Hmm. I don't know. That's why it's a wonder, right? Uh, something that we investigate, that we check out. Uh, so make sure you have two wonder questions at the bottom and that you have documented the changes from day one to day 10 on your journal. Now, one little bit of maintenance we're going to have to catch up on. Our do, does temperature affect plant growth experiment and our light and dark plant growth experiment that you set up for me? Um, I need you to make sure that they are watered because we're not testing whether or not plants need water. Uh, and so we planted those in cups, if you'll remember. Uh, and this is my one that from the fridge, my cold cup. Uh, and you need to see it, they tend to dry out pretty quick and we don't want them to dry out because drying out might affect if they grow or not. And we are testing the variable temperature, not moisture. So you need to go through your cups, your light and dark cups, your cold and, and warm cups, and you need to make sure they have adequate moisture, okay? don't drown them. Just make sure that paper towel is as damp as it was when you planted them the first time. Okay, so take a minute and do that after this video. Make sure everything in your journal is updated and we're going to come back and finish up those other seed experiments uh, here in the next week or so. So I hope you guys are having fun. Bye science learners. Catch you on the flip side.